Operation Fan. That's the uh, rough end of the crank line. You got Boehmer at 320s, there's two. And you have a five row gantry system combined with Harry Major conveyors for buffers that are controlling all the uh, transfers. Operation 20 is a Boehmer CM320. Again, Harry Major transfer. Operation 30 is two CM320 Boehmer milling machines. These machines are uh, manufactured in 2006. Operation 40 is a CB320 turn turn machine. Operation 50 is another CM320 Boehmer. Go ahead and go on in on that machine. Let's look at the steady rest in the chest. That's, that's good. CM Systems Agile Drilling Machine. It's a CNC drilling machine that can do multiple angles, and then it's got an ABB robot and buffer system. It moves down to a deburring station gauging station and then it goes into a Ransa hat off washer after operation 70 and then in operation 80 is the Ransa off washer and the staking spot here where the Ajax heat treatment was. Once we get to the end of the robotics for the heat treatment, you get into this Goodle transfer. It's going to go from the end of the robotics at the, or heat treatment at this robot and transfer over to the Ingersoll CM Systems Agile Variable Roll Straightening Machine. And that is Operation 100. the Goodle system into this robot and buffer station and then the cranks were dropped off manually carried over to the end finishing horizontal machining center that's a Morisiki uh, NH6300 ECG and that machine has got a robotic interface uh, what was the tool? 50 tools. It's got high pressure coolant through the spindle. It's HSK 100, high speed spindle. And then you come back into a, uh, another fibro system, very major fibro, into the land, this multi wheel grinder for doing the bearing journals and the flange. That operation, Nick 180. I think that's operation 180. And then we move on down. The engaging operation that's in the intro, that's operation 190. Operation 200, where you have uh, twin spindle orbital crank pin grinders from Landis, control gauging, SBS balancing, 
in uh, 3,200 uh, land is controls. It might be 6,400 controls. Again, we still have the uh, fiber system. We come across into operation 210, which is an interrogating station. And then down is operation 220, which is a uh, morning CD NL 3000 Y 1250 CNC turning center with programmable steady rest, live tooling, programmable tail stock. end of the line and into operation 230 which is a Landis CNC plunge grinder it's got a headstock tail stock Control gauge 900, SPS balancing, land is 3200 controls, and then we move on down to a land is 3LB. This machine has got uh, the same controls, the same SPS balancer, 900 control, land is controls for the 3200. This is the thrust wall grinder. It's a two-axis CNC straight grinder, CBN technology. Again, everything overhead is, is by uh, Fibro and integrated to the Harry Major. Operation 250, again, is an intra-gauging station, Marpos gauging. Then we get into the Kraus testing and assembly, sub-assembly. As we get done with the Kraus testing assembly, we pick up into yet another Fibro Systems, Harry Major Gantry and Conveyor. We go into another Landis 4SE CNC punch grinder. It also has the SPS controls for balancing and the control gauge 900 gauging system. Land is CNC 3200 control. Overhead by fiber. Very major conveyor. Into the intra gauging again. Then into the uh, into the uh, 290 operation, which is balance engineering uh, balancers. And there's two in this operation. After the balancers, we come across to the sub-assembled crank like that, back into the Harry Major, back into the next gauging interstation, which was, I think, what was this, 300? I think that's gauge 300. The conveyors into a deburring station. Back to Harry Major buffers, lower conveyors, and then over across into the loading station for the IMCO super finishing system. This was rebuilt in 2008. Three stations with robotic loading. Look into the stations. Here. 
and its separate coolant system. That's operation 280. And we move into the uh, centric spray washer. We got a Henry, Ma Henry Major conveyor just as a buffer. Come into the washer, out of the washer, into the law in process gauge. From the law in process gauge, we go over to the uh, laser welding. Operation 350. And this is where the end of the line is to the uh, conveyance. Again, Harry Major to the end, ABB Robotics out of the uh, law gauge and into the, uh, the laser welding. And then come across into the, uh, the TOCO sub-assembly machine. And this is where the flange assembly occurs. And that's the system.